miles on this four wheeler because it's nice out. It's like I think 40 degrees out today or 40, 45, mid 40. It's really nice out today. And uh, I think it's the second of January. And uh, yeah, I've owned this four wheeler for Christ, I think three months, and it's got 18 miles on it. <laughs> so today we're asking what's the two miles on it. I got the GoPro strapped in front of my helmet, and uh, we'll go explore. I'm actually gonna ride it to town, put some gas in it, and then uh, be the first time I actually put gas in it. Now that I think about it, and take it to the car wash and wash it because it's really dirty from playing in the ditch grass and stuff I hit some mud underneath and it kind of got it really dirty so we're gonna go do that and yeah we'll get some shots and we'll play around a little bit so let's get to it oh, that was actually a little bit harder than I thought it was I didn't really record a whole lot because it's just kind of gravel road and uh, it's just not a straight shot. It's just going to be super windy because it is actually quite windy over here in some of these fields. But uh, yeah, we're getting close to town now. quite sure why because everything is wet so by the time you go anywhere everything's gonna get dirty again I want to wash my pickup but it just doesn't pay 
truck looks good, or the four wheeler looks good though. People will be staring. But yeah, the four wheeler cleaned up. It's gonna be muddy by the time I get home because these side roads are way muddier than I thought. All the all the ice melted off of them, so they're kind of just mud, but might as well start heading her back home. Before we head back, I'll get to check this truck out. So, so the story behind this dealership, I man, he likes to buy you know, and resell them. But this truck's pretty big, and I just noticed something driving by. Check this shit out. Look at that. I don't know what the hell if they tried to tow it out or something to ripped right through it. But that, like, these are all bent. It looks freaking sketchy. The interior is in nice shape, that's a weird, really weird interior, it's like a freaking brown. <laughs> it's not a really great looking interior, and I don't like the wheels either. Oh, it's just kinked in right there. Actually, I think the whole side of this box has been repainted. It's kinked in right here too. Body line doesn't line up right here either. I don't know if I'm really getting the pressure for here. It's not lining up right there either. These body lines don't line up either. It's really close up here and a pretty good gap down there. Let's get a better look at the interior. Like it's different. I mean, I don't know. It's weird because like the center console almost looks like it's tan. And then the seats and the door panels and everything else is. I don't know, it doesn't match very well. There's no information on it anywhere. It looks kind of sketchy, not gonna lie. It's big though. I don't know, that front. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the 6.8, I think it's Alright, let's get cruising. Alright, so I took some back roads, actually more blacktop this time for one, try to keep my four wheel a little bit cleaner, and two, I wanted to see if I could do a wheelie. Yeah, guys, made it back home. Um, I don't know how much footage the GoPro got before it finally died. Uh, I don't know, it just, it doesn't last that long sometimes, and especially when I try to uh, record in like 4K, which I, I was. Um, I didn't actually realize it until a little while into it, I guess, and the battery was already most of the way dead, so I don't know how much I actually got. But uh, we made her back home, and honestly, the four-wheeler is, is, is still a lot cleaner than it was when uh, I left. I mean, I just got kind of some speckle stuff, you know, but this thing was just pretty much caked when, uh, no, I mean, if you look, you can see our roads just mud. I found out if I just hold it wide open across all the muddy spots, it stays a lot cleaner. <laughs> but, uh, the dogs are excited that I'm back home. And actually, the truck needs to be washed, too, but I'm not going to wash the truck. If I do, it'll just run it through the car wash. I'm not going to actually hand wash it, because... I really want to, but it sucks. We live down three miles of gravel, so I will make it wash it whether I drive two miles an hour or 90 miles an hour. The damn thing is just, it's going to be dirty. So those are my two beauties. We'll get some fun videos. I got some really cool and actually funny videos planned. I just need to get a welder, so, and it'll be on both of these right here. Maybe back on Tanner's car, but definitely on these two. Raza, you better not pee on my four-wheeler. He likes to pee on everything. He pees on my truck wheels all the time. But yeah, so if you guys want to see some sweet videos, like, comment, subscribe, and the good videos will be coming soon, especially once the weather gets a little bit nicer. And I just need to get a welder here. So once I get the uh, extra cast around that up, then... Uh, the good videos are coming. You guys wait.
just wait. You'll see. See you guys later.